Taboo Customs. This video today is going to be a little bit different. Uh, today we're not going to be working on a Jeep. Today we're going to be working on my 2008 Ford F-350. Uh, this truck here we use for hauling our Jeep around. We use for picking up stuff uh, from the powder coaters, hauling axles to the sandblaster, stuff like that. Uh, and it drives and runs great. It's a relatively low mileage diesel, so it's going to last us a while. However, it does have a few things being a 2008 that I wish it had that newer vehicles you know, typically have. Uh, one being you know, Bluetooth, it doesn't have Bluetooth. If I wanna listen to my phone, I gotta plug my phone into a audio jack in here to play my phone through the radio. Uh, also, you know, no GPS obviously, so I've gotta use my phone for that. It also does not have a backup camera. And a lot of times if we're pulling a, uh, uh, a trailer a bumper trailer then you know i'm by myself a lot of times and i'm having to back up and try to get that trailer hooked up so i'm wanting to add a backup camera uh, especially for this coming weekend where i think i'm going to probably end up hooking and unhooking my trailer several times that we're off you know going on a jeeping event and uh going to end up leaving the jeep on the trailer probably driving the the tow rig around to go to dinner and whatnot so wanting to get something installed so i've been looking around and uh, i found this unit from sicane that basically looks like it should have all of that packaged up into one unit and seems fairly easy to install so today we're going to be installing that unit and then I'll, at the end i'll also give you a little bit of a review of that unit after our event this weekend where we plan on using it quite a bit okay so here is the unit that we got from sicane um amazon's about 130 dollars it looks like but again like i said it should hook up to my android auto and uh be able to use that through there use my google maps um play my music through there and then uh, it also comes with a backup camera and it is also a dash cam as well so uh so you know we get in an accident maybe this would be good to have so we'll take a look at that it did come with this extra packaging which it doesn't really in tell you what it's for but it mainly looks like the power wire for it because it has what looks like to be a probably a constant yellow and then a 12 volt red and then a bunch of jacks like a USB jack audio jack anyway that came in a separate little pouch looking at the unit itself um, this was the nine uh, nine nine and a quarter roughly wide unit so it's gonna be pretty pretty wide should be interesting to see how how everything looks on there if it uh, looks wonky or works out pretty pretty good and back there looks like that's the dash cam there uh, which is adjustable so that's cool now they make this it looks like so it'll stick on but not yet sure if I want to stick it on something or if I'll just for now set it up there I'm guessing that's the manual I could be wrong I've been wrong before so this looks like the power wire um, okay I'm thinking I get now why that other cable is there so this is a uh, basically if you just want to plug it into your cigarette lighter which we do have one and i may just do that just for ease of getting it in there for this weekend but it's the same basically same basic cable as this it's just got a cigarette lighter end on it so i'm sure this is this is for uh permanent mounting and it looks like it's got 15 amp fuses in there that it's wired to I guess it's expecting you to just plug it into hopefully maybe if we have some empty spots in the truck that are powered um, I don't know that I'd want to replace a fuse with it what the hell happens when you blow it I can take that off now yeah. anyway we'll get that figured out um, audio cable which I do believe for me to use it with my stereo, I'm going to basically have to do what I do with the phone and hook up the audio cable from the truck to the jack here on this. But hey, that's fine. At least I don't have to worry about it anymore. And then uh, this is the dash cam, or excuse me, 
the rear camera. We've got a pretty long truck. It's a crew cab, long bed, so hopefully they'll have given us enough wire. We'll find out. But I'm sure this plugs into this will plug into the back of this and this will probably have to go up to the power on one of the lights, I'm assuming. So anyway, let's uh let's try to get into getting it installed and see what damage we can do. All right, so we're in the truck. What we uh, decided to go ahead and do was just get in here, see if we can figure out where we wanted to put it. We've got a big valley in the 08 F350 here, which works. Now, the thing is pretty good size, and here's the weird thing about it is it's not plugged into power right now, but yet that is on. I plugged it in for a second or two, and it came on, and it went to this screen to basically hook up Wi-Fi so I don't know if it's got batteries in it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the instructions are mostly about how to deal with the software and whatnot. There's not a whole lot in here at all about how to install it. So they don't really cover anything in here on installing it other than this little, maybe small section right here, which doesn't tell you much of anything. Um, they probably have instructions on their website, so I'll have to check that out here in a second. But yeah, it's not even plugged in right now, because here's the jack. So I'll go ahead and plug it in, and we'll see if we can get our phone to connect to it. Now one thing I noticed is, it, like I said, it is pretty big. For me, probably won't be a problem. It pretty much, it's just uh, covered areas of my hood. Uh, but my wife, I can see her having a little bit more of an issue with it. For that reason, I don't think I'm going to stick it down. I think I'll just see if it'll just stay up there by itself. If it'll stay up there by itself. We'll just probably remove it when we're not using it for longer trips and stuff like that. But anyway, let's try, try to connect the phone. Okay, so we did get connected. Um... It must be common for it to have to do it twice because it had even on the instructions on the screen that if it doesn't connect the first time, make sure you click to auto connect. Um, and it did connect the second time, wasn't an issue. So you can see I've got my phone on there. So it even has an FM system apparently on it. So anyway. First things first, let's try to see if we can play some music through it. So I think I'm gonna have to hook up the audio jack. All right, so we are able to play music via Bluetooth now on it. However, you saw me jacking around with some cables there. Uh, the big thing I noticed is that going through this with Bluetooth, yeah, it's a lot quieter for some reason the sound drops way down um, I don't know if it maybe drops down too much we'll have to see with highway noise and whatnot but we'll check that out this weekend and at the end of the video we'll talk about our thoughts on it what I might do is I might go try and get a USB cable and see if I hook it up with a USB cable if that changes that or not so anyway let's try that all right, I figured out real quick why it wouldn't wouldn't work. Yeah, you do get full audio through it. I had to go into this FM transmitter and change it to auxiliary. It was on speaker, which it still played through the car radio, but it had to be over an auxiliary. So anyway, it does work well. Um, probably allow actually just just as loud as it would have been hooked directly to the stereo. So no issues there. But again. I did find a little bit of note in the instructions about it, but not not great. So anyway, I think next we're gonna try seeing if our Google Maps, which is what we typically use, travel around, will work with it. All right, so we got our Andrew Android Auto to work as well. Uh, I had some issues because I actually didn't know this Serrat lighter over here didn't work 
Um, didn't realize there's a little red dot in the back of here that would say it was powered on. This has to have some batteries in it because it ran for a while there and then all of a sudden just shut off. The batteries probably died in it. So anyway, once I got it hooked up to power, the Android Auto hooked, uh, connected correctly. So looks like it works. Um, looks pretty, I mean, it looks like you can move your Android Auto to this side, to this side. Uh, you got your dash camera there that uh, can show up. And then I think you can do it full screen as well because well i don't know why i'd really need to see the dash camera if i'm looking over the dash myself um i don't know if i'll be, I'll be able to have the rear view camera maybe over there instead um i wouldn't mind that uh, to have that there because it's like what we used to have with the rv and whatnot with a couple of cameras you could always kind of see what's behind you there so now for the third thing that we're really looking at it for and that's we well, need to take a look at how we're going to mount and get our rear view camera from the back all the way to the front all right just playing with the rear view camera here plugged it in and actually i can see that i can get the camera set up to where it's always shows on the screen honestly i probably want it over here though than, than right there um We'll have to see. Right now, I don't know. I'm a little sketchy on if uh, we're gonna have enough cable. I quickly just ran it from the front to back to see if uh, if it fit, and it's gonna be close. You could probably set it up to where it automatically comes on with your rear uh, rear lamps in the back with this, but honestly, I'll probably just let it stay on all the time. That way, I can kind of keep an eye on the trailer and the. Uh, straps and everything on the trailer the chains for us so anyway let's get this uh get this camera mounted and ran all right so as far as installing our rear camera what's nice is you can see the uh unit there in the, the sliding window of the back window since the cords are long enough and it just plugs in the cigarette lighter i can just stick it in there and then that helps to try to make sure i get the camera located in the right place the only thing with the camera is that it just has this little dinky mount I mean, it bends right here real easily, but uh, I'm afraid to bend it too much. And there's not really much to mount it to right now. For me, I think I want it about right there so that I can see the, the hitch whenever I'm lining the trailer up. So what I'll probably have to do is I'll probably either 3D print or go and plasma cut a bracket out basically to, uh, to mount this right here. So uh once i do that then i can start running all my cables but unfortunately i'm gonna have to go make a bracket first all right we've got our bracket 3d printed now uh, i ended up making it out of abs it won't a lot of it won't show so i'm not worried about uv resistance but temperature and whatnot the uv uh excuse me the abs should should stand up to it just fine now if uh if you're looking for a bracket like this and you want one just get a hold of us we can uh, 3d print these pretty quick and get them out. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them on the website. We'll see uh, But anyway, get a hold of us. We can get one out to you um, Basically what I'm gonna do or what I want to do Is be able to slide it behind The license plate Good. Works pretty well. Still clears the tail again. And then we can adjust it up and down a little bit. I remember to take the little piece of plastic off of it. And anyway um not too difficult other than obviously trying to figure out how you want to mount it we started running our rear camera cable through the frame took the shortest route possible and by the time we got about halfway down the truck could tell that we were not going to have nearly enough uh, cable to get up here and actually cleanly run it up you know 
through the dash and have it clean. So for this trip, I went ahead and just actually ran it inside one of the back doors from under the frame and had just enough to get up here and get it hooked up. So we're just gonna leave it like that for this trip. I'm gonna get a hold of Sakane and try to figure out if they've got maybe an extension for that cable because we probably need at least uh, at least 10 foot, somewhere between five and, and 10 feet just to just to make it up here and, and run it clean, which is, I don't want it hanging out here. I hate, I hate having the cables out here as it is, but you know, I get it. Um, eventually, if this works out well, we'll probably get rid of this and use our other setup that runs it over to the fuse box and figure out how that goes. But right now we're just trying to get it to where we can use it and uh, take off for this trip. So anyway, I'll get a hold of them. We're gonna use it for this trip. We get back from this trip. I'll let you know how it did, let you know our thoughts, and uh, we can go from there. Before we talk about our thoughts from this uh, last weekend, I want to run you through a couple of things uh, you know, we've learned in, in using it. It actually works pretty slick. Uh, you go to settings, there's actually quite a few options. Oops, I hit too many buttons. Um, whole screen is touch screen, which is, is pretty cool. Um, a lot of different options, works with Android works with Apple CarPlay, AirPlay, Android Auto, Android Wireless Mirror. I don't even know what that is. Um, has apparently some sort of G sensor tracking. I don't know what you do with that, but um, there is that. Uh, does have, if you have a rear view camera, has that fancy little green orange red bars in it if you want to use those we don't really need that because we're mainly just using it for uh, backing up and hooking up to the trailers um, you can mirror flip your backup camera fix all those sort of issues and uh, yeah so it's uh, got quite a few different settings um, one I just glossed over one that's nice is here's where you can go from full screen to partial screen with the camera which uh, which I like because really if you do use full screen and like for us we're going to use it with uh, our you know Google Maps or whatnot it still only takes up the same space for the Google Maps ends up putting uh, you know your other stuff from your Android on this side so we don't really care to use that because I'm not you don't use anything else off Android Auto it's just uh, the maps um, as far as your cameras it is pretty cool it does have a, a dash camera so it does look out forward you can record there's a space for an SD card in the side and it will record all of your uh, your your at least your dash cam um, it's kind of neat you double tap this and you can cycle through different ones so you got your two here you want to see just that one you can double tap on it double tap again you go over here double tap on that side and it just shows our backup camera which will be nice whenever we're doing that now you can also oops do the same thing if we I keep hitting too many times if we go to change that now it does have to reset whenever you change it so to give it a minute Probably need to reconnect to the phone so it'll probably pop up with the connection screen yeah so over here it'll do the same thing with the camera you double tap it it goes to the front double tap it you can go to your rear camera which is uh, which is pretty cool uh, said works out works out pretty well
All right, so we are back from our trip and back from our test of the Sicane uh, CarPlay unit here that we uh, installed. Uh, we did make some changes. Uh, we did actually change up our wiring. We used the temporary uh, power points here, just, just kind of got it going so we can go. But since then, we've actually uh, went ahead and wired it to the fuse block. Uh, we did also get an extension cable since our uh, truck is so long we needed one from Sicane to to get the rear camera hooked up so they do have those if you are uh, needing one uh, as far as the performance of the unit actually it performed great we we didn't have really any issues with it just walking out here you can see that my phone already just hooked up I didn't didn't try to have to press anything to get uh, the Bluetooth working between the phone and the unit so that's been great. Uh, the touchscreen is actually pretty nice. You can double uh, tap on, you know, the camera here and actually switches back and forth and change the volume. You actually even move around in your uh, CarPlay and, uh, you know, this is just Google Maps we typically use for our Navigation, so it's uh, actually worked real nice. Navigation worked real nice. Uh, playing music through my phone was seamless. Played music without any um, issues. Obviously, since I have an older truck, I did have to connect to the auxiliary jack. So there is there is that, but uh, that's kind of what I knew I was going to have to do anyway. Um, you know, everything really worked really well with it. Uh, some of the other things you can kind of see here. You can do a full screen of the rear camera. You can do a split screen. You can change them back and forth just by double tapping. Uh, now we didn't we didn't stick it down. Later on we might. Uh, we'll see. It moved around a little bit as it's up here, but not a ton. Uh, might just stick it down to something a little bit heavier so it doesn't go anywhere. I, I hate sticking things to my dash. Um, you kind of see I didn't stick this to that. It was actually here when I got the truck, so it is what it is. So anyway, so results were it worked great. We actually did really like it and uh, definitely would recommend one of these if you're looking for uh, something for you know a dash camera or to use free with your GPS or a rear view camera or like us you want to you know play uh, your Bluetooth on your phone through your your radio and you can't uh, obviously for us it ticked a couple of those boxes and we're really happy now the only kind of thing that we did notice is that uh, like right now the truck is actually on. You do have to shut it off by pushing the button up here and we'll show that show you that in a second. But another interesting thing is it does have some sort of battery uh, system in it. Um, right now, it's not even connected to the power. Uh, this is the rear camera. This is actually the power cable right here. There's no other, no other connection. And you can see it's on. So it's apparently has a, a battery in it. Didn't really explain uh, you know how big a battery or anything like that, but it does stay on for quite a while uh, So with that though, you know, we were kind of worried about it draining power So we always did shut it off. Let's just hold the button up here and there you go So worked out great really enjoyed it if you're looking for one be sure to check them out And uh, we'll put a link in the description of this video if you want to uh, purchase your own all right, well, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can please leave them here at the video or on the video, or you can contact us at our website, taboocustoms.com. Uh, as always, you know, a like or subscribe is greatly appreciated.